I went from doing a 12 hour job in L&D to getting a seat in IIT Bombay. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the entire interview experience I had while cracking or getting into IIT Bombay. So if you are a guy interested to see all these steps and see the questions they asked in the interview, what are the courses I applied and how I get into it, sit back and enjoy this videos for you. Since I didn't write the gate mechanical paper and I only targeted the gate XC paper which is a wild card to getting into IITs if you are not preparing for PSUs and I wrote that paper for the mechanical I selected thermodynamics and solid mechanics and I got about 322 rank got in the rank 322 even though that was a pretty good rank since gate XC paper is not that much competitive I had a gate score about 578 and which was not a pretty good gate score to get into IITs and to confirm your seat you need about 750 gate score so like every student i was looking for my options but i always had a dream to get into iit bombay so i looked the cutoffs of everything and pretty obviously nids were the correct option nid trichy nid suratkal these were the best option for me but i checked into iit bombay's last 10th round count off and i found out that there are a lot of courses which i can get into like energy science computational materials education technology so i applied for this and i filled my application form there was 10 options which were available for every individual candidate and I filled my 10 options because I wanted to get that seat. And the gr greatest risk I took was I didn't apply for any other institute. I didn't apply for any other IIT. I didn't apply for any other uh, NITs. I just applied for two courses in IIT Madras. That was my application. And hence I waited, I waited, I waited long. I was in my side working, working, worrying about will I get a seat, get a seat. And suddenly in one day, I got offer of two courses for interview. One was education technology and another was Sitara, which is cultural technology and development some course. So I was not interested in the Sitara, but I was pretty interested in education technology because I went through their websites and the things that they're doing is pretty good. After that, getting the course, I was so happy. Like if I crack the interview and if I, if I write the test, I can get it. That is the main problem for a lot of IITs. There are no written test and uh, no interviews and all. But for IIT Bombay and IIT Kanpur, I think there is a written test and interview. So after getting that offer, it was better than nothing. I booked my flight to Mumbai from Trivandrum. And I started my journey from Kanyagumari to Mumbai. So after all the traveling, I reached IIT Bombay. All the reels and shorts and YouTube videos, everywhere we see this logo and the same logo, the same gate I see. It. And then I passed the security and went to the hostel. So before that, let me tell you how the hostel allocation, how the stay and how the days are allocated. So since I got to offer for two courses, the total duration was three days, May 7, 8 and 9. So what the IIT Bombay will do that on the right side of your uh, offer letter, they will give you a link for booking the hostel. So I booked the hostel for five days and an amount of 1200 was paid. So don't worry about that. You can uh, take the IIT Bombay hostel only. You no, don't need to stay outside of the campus and then come in for the interview. If you get an offer from IIT Bombay, then on the right side of it, you will always automatically get the link for booking the hostel. While crossing the security checkup, you must just show the bill. In the receipt, they will be allocated the hostel number, hostel 1 or hostel 2. Actually, there are about 20 hostels in IIT Bombay and in one hostel, you will be allocated and you just go to the hostel and show this, this receipt. They will give you a room. So coming to the interview experience, I had the interview in the same place. And there were three professors. One was a madam and two other professors. So I am going to tell all the questions asked me in every interview and all the written test questions in this single section. Initially, we all start with our intro. So I also told my intro where I am from, what where, what was I doing. I worked in LND for one year, so and so on, so forth and so on. And then they were interested in the work that, that I was doing. And then they started asking questions about that initially. So what were you doing? What role was I taking care of? And what must my actual technical knowledge there? What must my experience say? Do I like my job? Like that small small questions coming up and I answered that. And after that they started to ask it technically. Since I was working in a nuclear power plant, they asked me about what cycle was it operating on. Like primary, secondary, how much cycles are there and which cycle. Breton cycle, Reinekin cycle like that. And then they asked me to draw the cycle which was operating there. Then I drew Reinekin cycle on this exact board here and how much efficiency it had. Uh, they asked me to mention each temperature in each uh, areas because in mechanical we have each equipment like steam generator, turbine, pump, compressor, everything. So in my power plant, what was, my, what was the temperature I was working on? They asked me that. So I didn't know the exact value, but I guessed some value. Not accurate, but around it. And then they asked me, uh, was it using pressurized uh, water reactor or non-pressurized water reactor? Or how much was the temperature of the steam? And uh, what was the efficiency of it? Like that, they asked more technical questions, questions about this nuclear reactor. Then they asked how much energy is it producing? producing like how, how what was the capacity uh, the answer was one uh, gigawatt like thousand megawatt it was the correct answer but actually it was not up to that mark 
it was actually producing about 600 megawatt so like that i answered the questions which i knew since i worked in the site so the one advice is that if you are if you are a working candidate you must exactly know what you are working with and if you are working in a core sector like mechanical or you are in electrical so if you are working in the core sector the area in which you are working you must be very well aware of even though you are not involved in everything you must know everything so they are going to ask questions about your work then they started to ask the questions about the general topics like uh, is a nuclear power plant better than in other energy sources and is this a renewable energy or non renewable energy and how much is the amount of uh, power supplied to the country by this nuclear is it threatening or is it more good than other resources then they changed the topic from nuclear to the more general topics like what is the efficiency of the coal power plant and what is the efficiency of the thermal power plant like that they asked the questions about that in the written test and all we had more uh, reading comprehension type questions like there will be a big passage and small small questions you must read the passage and the questions will be uh, based on that i will uh, put the link uh, to the previous question papers of education technology and uh, sitara which i was uh, going so i'll put that uh, in the link below so do check it out it is it is available in every website of each uh, department i think if you are preparing for interview for any department which are related to the previous question will be in their website you can go and check it out and so written test is not an issue interview and the second thing in the interview is that they asked me about the solar radiation which is uh, coming in the earth and what is the unit of solar radiation like that simple basic questions they asked then after that they started to ask about my college so what was the btec project i did in in my college so what btec project did i do i actually did three projects one in my third year and two in my fourth year since i was also having a honor degree with me i did a project for honor degree also <clears throat> so they asked me about that also i need to choose one project and explain them i explained them about the btec project and they were okay with it and then they finally asked me about what why are you taking mtech why are you leaving your job what is your aim like what do you want from iit bombay so i told them about what i want so like career development more technical knowledge deep specialization like that i told i satisfied them so these were the main questions then after that the interview was done i was in satisfied because i didn't get a chance to attend the education technology interview and that was a then the allotment started like one first round second round third round like in the co portal we can get the rounds of each allotment so basically we apply for courses in each website of iit if iit madras iit bombay for every iit we are going to apply in individually in their websites and after that for application of that we need a id it is called coop id that id we need to go to another website called coop and in that website we are going to get an id and using this id only we are going to apply for each iit and after that all the allotments also is going to come in this coop portal only it is not going to appear in the official website so that is a tricky one so let us there are lots of videos of how to application and how to do them so don't worry about that lot of youtube videos are there how to register in coop and how to manage all these things so after that i was waiting for the coop round to get in the allotment so first allotment came rejected second allotment came rejected third fourth fifth like that in the sixth allotment i got to iit bombay and it was pretty shocking because i was in leave actually correct time i was in leave from my lnd i was com i completed my one year in lnd and i was in leave for one week and one morning i was looking in this allotment okay today is the allotment date and i suddenly I checked I and i was screaming like hell because i got into the seat for iid bombay and the course was <laughs> computational materials engineering